so guys what do you tell nigerians how do you describe these resilient people well just look at your screen what do you see the road is free very free with people walking hmm. this reminds me of the great trek you know yes that's the great trek and nigerians are trekking nigerians are indeed the best people on planet earth turning a sad situation into a comedy into comic relief into humor let's see what is written on the caption on the screen now we just the waste money <laughs> my people oh, this is nigeria for you this is our reality of today's administration what today's administration has gained the last administration couldn't gain it in the in eight years but within two months the this present situation has hit the ground running we are running as we are trekking and making good use of this trekking opportunity that, that has been provided to us guys people have been reacting yes but before i continue with this gist before i bring you the reaction from people let me pause here and do the needful thank you very much my um community members thank you for finding time to support me on this channel in case you're yet to subscribe to my channel please click on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video you get notified all right and don't forget to share and like this video yes now let's look at the reactions from people from arise tv you see people are reacting let's hear what they have to say happened yesterday trekathon okay. was trending yesterday after a video showing more people than cars on major <laughs> roads around the keja area of lagos state began <laughs> circulating i mean look at this have you seen this thing happen oh before? i mean God. this is a computer village in the keja mr bayon should not come and tell us anything they are not feeling the heat but what I know, lawmakers got free 70 billion. They are not feeling the heat. They should speak for themselves. So why is Mr. Bayo Anonuga begging Nigerians now? Mm. No, no, he should not beg Nigerians. Please, he should leave Nigerians alone. They plunge Nigerians into this. The APC plunged Nigerians into this because of their terrible planning. I asked Professor Killer a very technical question this morning. I said, do you see rigor in the thinking of government? He said, no, no rigor. You know what that means? That's an indictment on government guys you heard it well you heard well from oj and rufai <laughs> by your nanago is begging nigerians begging nigerians to take it easy on the present administration begging nigerians to continue to suffer and smile of course we are need used to that let me read that caption again to you it's written by a nigerian no even far self Hmm. Let's read what uh, Bayon Anoga has to say. In this season of high fuel price, I want to plead with our people to exercise some patience. We are all jointly experiencing the pain. All those in intemperate attacks against the new government of President Bola Tinubu should stop. Let's wait the palliatives as this government has promised. Let's await the palliatives that will flow from each state as more money is channeled to them from the subsidy savings guys uh, well they said he's begging nigerians but this tone is not a begging tone no it is not he's even uh you know um commanding nigerians because he said all those intemperate attacks against bola ahmed tunubu's government should stop so it is not a begging tone no when i when someone is begging you would know well whether he's begging or he's commanding <laughs> nigerians are very strong people at a time i'm sure they will know what to do they are already enjoying the exercise free exercise provided by the government present administration guys eh? let's hear further from um arise tv representatives what we expected President Tinubu and I keep saying to have done is, if you knew, 
you are going to remove subsidy on your inauguration speech. Once you won the election, you will have started planning for it. At least have a template document. If at least had that and you put it forward, now you are saying you are meeting with stakeholders. Why didn't you finish the meeting with stakeholders before you remove subsidy? So we, we've given ideas at Norsia. But Mr. Bayan Onuga should not beg. I think Mr. Bayan Onuga should have begged the Igbos that he said that never should they put him out in Lagos politics again. And when he said all of those things, that people kicked against him, he said he had no apologies. So why is he begging now? Nigerians have a right to ventilate.